Hi, Lou here, and I'm going to talk about the mostly imaginary notion of a unique game concept. I say mostly imaginary because a lot of people come up with concepts that they think are original or think nobody else has ever come up with and then find out, oh yeah, this has been done, it was done 20 years ago, and so forth. It's very common. Now, as far as I'm concerned, only snobs and jaded gamers care if your game has a unique concept. Snobs because they're snobs, jaded gamers because they're tired of playing games and they need something brand new somehow to keep them going. Smart people care about the gameplay, not about the concept. How well does the game play? How interesting is it to play? I don't give a shit what, whether the concept's unique or not. It can be the 10th game on that concept, but if it's done really well, if it's really well executed, then it's going to be a good game and better than the others. So I tell budding designers, don't worry about unique game concepts. And don't think that a unique game concept is necessarily going to sell your game. It, it may help, it may not. Of course, you might know also that parallel development happens, especially in simple games. And it happens even to people as well known as designers as Tom Jolly and Reiner Knizia. In other words, they design a game and somebody else designs a game that's very similar, but they had no contact with each other, it just happens. That definitely happens. Can you worry about it? No. Can you try to find out if there's a game just like the one you want to make out there already? Yes. Certainly, if you have a particular topic, you want to look in a, a game database. Um, there's one for video games. There's one for tabletop games. And see if there's a game with a similar title or topic. And that can be quite interesting. But, of course, you may find... Um, that, yes, there are a few games like it, but they're all old and way out of print or way out of uh, availability in the case of video games. So why worry about it? You can still make your game. Now, some people don't understand that, and they may think that your game is a close cl copy or clone of some other game that they know of that you didn't know of, but there's nothing you can do about that either. Uh, some people who make games that are based on other games, for example, many of the Britannia-like games that are based on my game Britannia, they don't even mention Britannia in the rules, not anywhere. They give no credit at all, even though it's obvious to anyone who plays, yes, this derives from Britannia. And that's okay because I guess they're worried about getting sued, but in fact there is no chance of them being sued, not, not practically. You don't need a unique game concept to avoid being sued. Um, copyright does not protect game ideas. Patents do, but patents are very expensive and a bad idea for almost all games. Uh, trademarks is the thing you have to watch out for, which can involve titles, but trademarks go out of use generally when the game is no longer available. Now, you can do a trademark search, um, but some trademarks are not registered. They're common law trademarks. Now, those go out of use as soon as the game is no longer available, but still, it's possible. And I recall a case where somebody was working on a video game, and they called it Dragon Rage. Well, I have a tabletop game called Dra Dragon Rage, which has been uh, published in 1982 and 2011 and could be published again. So I wrote to these guys and said... Guys, are you aware that I have a game called Dragon Rage and so on? And they had not known. And they changed their game name to Dragon Frenzy, which I think was a better name for what they were doing anyway. So it worked out fine for everybody. Now, could I have stopped them from using Dragon Rage? At that point, Dragon Rage was long out of print. And so uh, I had not registered the trademark. Um, it was a common law trademark. They could have called their game Dragon Rage, but it would have possibly confused some people. So it was better for them to change the name in that respect as well. Even if you have a unique game concept, you can still end up having uh, problems with the title and such. So the unique game concept doesn't save you from that. Unique game concept doesn't really save you from anything. It's not a bad thing, 
it's probably a good thing, but it's not necessary. And what I'm telling uh, aspiring designers is don't think you have to come up with a unique, unique game concept because we have hundreds of thousands of games out there. It's unlikely you're going to come up with something that somebody else hasn't at least sniffed around in some detail. Thanks for listening.